Well, everybody's singing in the studio. Kitchener is a live one morning edition, and I could tell you that. Yeah? Uh, so we are discussing now International Credit Union Day. We do have President of the Western uh, United Credit Union, Mr. Mark Farrett, and we also have uh, Secretary of the Credit Union, Ms. Dixian de Souza. Uh, Ma'am? Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming this morning. Good morning, Marlon, and yeah. thank you for having us. Of thank course. So let's, let's talk about uh, International Credit Union Day. How is this uh, being observed by your credit union, sir? First of all, let me say good morning to, to the National Trinidad and Tobago and International Credit Union Day. As a matter of fact, this year, we celebrated the 75th International Credit Union Day. And of course, international means it's global. Mm -hmm. And at our credit union, we celebrated, well, for, it's like Christmas, eh? Yeah. Because I love it bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it is a way <laughs> of telling the membership, thank you. Thank you for, for trusting us with your finances. Uh, thank you for allowing us to create a safe place for you to save and to invest your, your earnings. And we celebrated that day by giving vouchers to our members. We give away free hampers. Then on a Friday of the said week, we had a free webinar entitled Mental Health Matters, the Entanglement of Loneliness. So it's all about focusing on the members, saying thank you, and continuing to help them to grow on a holistic basis. Yeah. Um, Ms. D'Souza, you get, you get the feeling um, that in Trinidad and Tobago, because credit unions are coming up against massive financial institutions, eh? mm -hmm. you get the feeling that you still have a large portion of the population that is interested in investing in credit unions in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. Um let me just say good morning to all listening viewers, viewers of Morning yeah. Edition. Yes, yes, there are persons that are very much interested in saving and investing. And what we do have is a number of young people as well being interested. Um, we have... Um, we have a very strong now social presence on TikTok and, yeah. and um, Facebook and, and Instagram and all these other, you know, that I don't really go on too much. But what I do notice is that the young people are interested and they are inquiring yeah. almost on a daily basis about the credit union. And how could we start to save our money? Yeah. Because they are thinking you know, how do we invest for our future? Mm -hmm. And given the webinars that we have, we have been doing for the past three years, we have noticed that, again, more young people are coming on and looking at the webinars. And we have webinars like um, Generational Wealth. So they want to know, well, how do we, how do we generate this wealth, yeah. you know? So they are inquiring and they are asking those questions and we are happy to give them that information. Yeah, Mr. Farad, what are some of the services that your credit union, let's say, provides when compared to other financial institutions? Why should people choose your credit union over other financial institutions? I would like to answer that question by saying first and foremost, one of the reasons why Western United Credit Union, WESCU, is so unique is because we pay particular attention to the holistic development of the human being. So we are saying that, listen, yes, we are interested in ensuring that you provide an, uh, a nest egg for yourself when your winter experience come. And also, as Madam Secretary would have mentioned, the generational wealth creation. But we are also saying that we are also interested in your mental, um, emotional, and financial and also spiritual well-being. So while we focus on the products, of course, your shares, your deposit account, your rainy day uh, emergency account, your Christmas plan, all these things are important for you to, to save, 
to invest your fixed deposit accounts. But what we are seeing is to achieve financial dignity, to, in, to achieve your sustainable financial well-being, there must be a holistic approach, and that is where our focus is also. Yeah, and you know, you know how we are in Trinidad and Tobago? Before we invest, we want to know about the financial stability of the financial institution. Yes. What can you tell us about that? Western United Credit Union, rescue as I would yes. say again. We have been around for 19 years if you want us to look at us as we are presently. But the history behind Westview is a history of over 100 years of cooperative caring. So you had an amalgamation that took place on Monday, January 12, 2004, between Cookery St. James Credit Union and Southeast Port of Spain Credit Union that decided to come together to pool its resources to improve the standard of living and standard of life of its members. So when you look about that rich history, you can certainly see that we are not going anywhere, but we are only, as, as a good pastor would say, we are only getting gooder and gooder and gooder <laughs> to, <laughs> <ensure, laughs> <but go ahead. laughs> to, to ensure yeah. that there is a safe place for investment and for saving. Yeah, safe, secure, and stable. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Souza, who is the credit union for? Because you know, back in the day, if you have, let's say, the police credit union or public service credit union, it was seen as for a particular group. But your, un your, your credit union, who's it for? It's for all persons who are interested in investing their monies. As simple as that. So you're not discriminating. Once you have not, your money, come. We are come. not discriminating. We welcome all. Yeah. Uh, how many locations do you have? Where's the head office? We have one location, and that is at number 40 Fifth Street in Woodbrook. And of course, as we continue to grow, as Madam Secretary would have said, the young people, they are very interested in what we have to offer. So as we continue to grow, of course, we intend to have branches throughout. and Tobago, but having our one branch at number 45th Street, it does not impede us at all because we have members throughout Trinidad and Tobago that we service very, very efficiently. Yeah. We have spoken about the, the observance of International Credit Union Day, but what do you have for us for, for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have something special. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. And of course, we, we have our Christmas loans that we have started to engage our membership with. And if it is you are a potential person, and once you meet the lending criteria, I would have been very explicit last year when we were on in terms of, of, of meeting the five C's of credit and the three G's of credit. So once you pass those testings, then of course you would be able to be provided with a Christmas loan and this year we are seeing the first 15 persons who come and your loan is approved for over five thousand dollars you get a free ham or a turkey. How oh, do you watch my face? <laughs> <laughs> so when does this begin? It you has, say the first 15 people? You it, know? Ha, it has started already. It has started? It has started already. And, and based on the feedback that I have from our competent loan officers, um, Ms. Sonia Mal Malchan and Mr. Aaron Williams, people are excited about that already. Yeah, well, you say the right uh, words there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel there may be a rush of people this morning you know, <laughs> to get that, you know. Um, anything else in, in, in store that you you like to tell us? What, what I would like to... to encourage people and, and, and invite people to, to focus, visit our website at www.westqtt.com. It is very important, Marlon, 
that person become more self-aware of who they are as individuals. Yes, we want you to be sustainable. Yes, we want you to be financially sound. But that holistic approach, I want to drum that in again, it is critical for the, the, the even as you were talking about the current affairs, it is critical for persons to have that solid footing. So in all our webinars, we have another webinar coming up again, Mental Health Matters, the entanglement of, of, of loneliness, and that will be our third webinar as it pertains to mental health, because mental health matters. Yeah. Mrs. Souza, let's speak a little bit about financial stability. Let's speak a little bit about that financial education, because you know, I think that we have had a culture, many of us would have had a culture, we get our money, we spend it, and, that, and then at a later stage, the money is gone, and we have to look to other agencies to take care of us. Let's even speak about generational wealth too, uh, the importance of, of that. Well, I want to start off by saying, Marlon, that it is important to be guided, first of all, or have persons speak to you about financial security and financial stability yes. in your life. <clears throat> and I was privileged to have parents and grandparents who used to drum this term in my head. Where it is, here it is. And I have lived by that policy for my life. Where it is, here it is. So it is important, in fact still important, to be able to invest, take your money, and have a plan, have a vision for your life, have a plan, and be self-aware, as the president would have said, be able to be disciplined, because that is key, to be disciplined in your saving, not to spend, as well as to be prepared to sacrifice. So it's not every day you want to go and spend thousands of dollars on shoes <laughs> or <laughs> handbags <laughs> in case the ladies or I feel she clothes. Like shoes and handbags <laughs> or clothes <laughs> or clothes right we have to be focused we want a home we have to save mm -hmm. we want a car we have to save at the end of the day these it may sound archaic but the fact is, these are the things that work. So that you can say, in the future, I have it. Yes. Where it is, now I have it. Mm -hmm. So it is important from a very young age to have that discipline and to be able to make that sacrifice towards saving from very early. Mm -hmm. But you know, Mr. Farad, mm -hmm. in today's world, there are many people who will tell you that saving mm -hmm. is not enough mm -hmm. and that you should be investing mm -hmm. a little more. Mm -hmm. Does your credit union have, what would you call it, investment, um, investment opportunities mm -hmm. where you, 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 uh, people uh, would, would come with their, with their funds, put it into the credit union, and the credit union invest, uh, invest those funds for, for its members? I, I want to start off by, by saying, Marlon, and that persons should take, should take their financial life very seriously because your money provides for you in times of challenges. And yes, we have investment packages in the organization. And saving is important because yes. saving <coughs> is where you would save and you have your, your monies readily. But your investment, that is where the sacrifice really comes in. So you have your investment. Take, for instance, our fixed deposit packages that we have. So you come in and you invest and you have that as 2% per annum. So what we tell our members, listen, 
if it is you want to create your generational wealth, it makes no sense that when your fixed deposit matures, that you take the interest and you go and you spend it. So you have to be compound. You put it back against the principal, you reinvest, and then you allow it to grow. Then we have our wealth manager as well. So when our members have their monies, whether be it gratuity, whether be it a back pay or whatever have you, we guide our membership to sit with our wealth manager and say, okay, what it is you want for your future? And then the wealth manager would guide that person based on their goals into what investment that is a safe risk. Let me say it again, a safe risk yes. for your future. Yeah. So there's also, you also provide an advisory service. Yes, we Financial do. advisory. Yes, we um, do. To your members. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Souza, we, we are coming to the end of our, our interview for this morning. Anything else you'd like to add? I, I will let Madam Secretary go first, <laughs> and then I will just... Madam Secretary, <laughs> you're on the floor. <laughs> well, what I want to do is invite <coughs> persons to our credit union. I want to encourage you to invest in the credit union. Come and listen to what we have to, to offer to you. Uh, we want to encourage the young people even more to think about your future, have a vision for your life, and be, be prepared to do what is necessary to get to, to realize that vision for your life. I want to also invite you to visit our website at www.wescue.com and our other um, um, social media um, platforms. Yeah, platforms like TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and see what we offer. And all are welcome. In closing, I, I first of all want to thank uh, <coughs> you, Marlon, and TV6 for the opportunity to bring the word to the wider um, population of Trinidad and Tobago. And I want to close with encouraging persons to become more self-aware, understand who you are as an individual, understand that the decisions that you make now impact your future, your financial future. While we are looking holistically, everybody wants to live a comfortable life in their winter experience. And when does that begin? It begins now. Making the necessary sacrifices, being very disciplined to ensure that when that time comes, you can live a very comfortable life. And I also want to, to invite young people as well, even persons who are retired, because what we do at Westview, we are very, very focused so that when, okay, we lend and when persons are retiring, we want your loan to retire with you so that you don't have that burden yes. of all of that debt hanging over your head. So now is the time to start to prepare your house repairs, you want to own your own home, now is the time to do so. Mm -hmm. And we are here willing and, and able to assist and to guide and to hold your hands. But all we ask is that you be financially vulnerable with us so that we will be able to help you as you need the help. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming this morning and they've brought a gift for me, you know. I'm <laughs> seeing something looking like an envelope here with some blue things in it. I don't know. I don't know. I have to see during the break. Thank you very much Thank for coming. Thank you so very much for having us. We are going to a very short break. We're coming back. <laughs>